All right, everyone. Time for another um, beer video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Finally got a new computer that actually works, and um, yeah, this is the first video I've made since then. So um, here we go. I've got this. This is. I think this is American. I've just been looking it up online. Um, I actually bought this in Amsterdam because um, I went in the supermarket there. And I thought I, I might as well do a booze and talk video and get a beer in Amsterdam um, but it actually turns out to be an American one um, so it's not it's not an Amsterdam beer at all I, I actually just bought it because I like that cover with the fucking bear with a pair of deer antlers a pair of antlers and a bear yeah okay and it's called it's uh, Anderson Valley Brewing Company it says they're a solar powered brewery um, that actually rings a bell. Like maybe I've had one of their beers before. I don't know, but um, it's called the Kimmy, the Yink, and the Holy Gozer. Um, I know, I know, Gozer, uh, Gozer is the type of beer that it is, but the Kimmy, the Yink. I don't know what that's all about. I even looked up on their website, and uh, I can't. I don't. I don't really think it says anything about it. It just tells you what a what a goza beer is. It doesn't say anything about what the the name's all about. So it's strange. I think the the bear with the horns is is kind of the logo of the brewery though. So I don't know. Who who knows what the fuck that Kimmy Ying name's all about? Uh, it says the refreshing tartness of this divine bright golden coloured ale gives way to earthy undertones and hints hints of citrus followed by a slight sea salt like dry finish and tangy effervescent finish and then a load of stuff the uh, the surgeon general uh, always on american stuff in it about the surgeon general giving you advice so anyway let's give this a go uh, i didn't realize it was, i didn't realize it was an american beer until i got it home i didn't really look at the the bottles that much um I gotta say, in general, Amsterdam, the weed is good, but the beer, maybe it was just the pubs I went in, but I was not impressed by the beer on offer in the uh, in the bars there. In the in the supermarket, it was all all right. They had quite a lot of like craft ales and things, and um, they had like a whole shelf of brew dogs and stuff, which is something else I I noticed this in France as well. They have all these interesting beers in the supermarkets, but you go into the bars and it's like a lager, it's, there's hardly anything, so, yeah, I, I definitely think this is something that England does better than other countries that I've been to, is, um, well, you know, like, Fr I've been to, like, France and Amsterdam, and I definitely think that we do craft beer better than those countries, uh, it, that, it's a small thing, but we've got to win at something, haven't we? Uh, anyway, it says something inside the bottle cap as well, I just noticed. It says, let your taste buds do the walking. Okay. So. Yeah, it might have just been the bars I went in. Um, I went to Amsterdam on like a stag do. And um, we, just ended, we just stayed in the red light district basically. And um, every bar it was just, your choices were lager or Guinness. And I like a Guinness, but drinking it for an entire five days is a bit much. And after the first night, it was Heineken, pints of Heineken, and it, oh God, after after the fifth or sixth pint, it just tasted like pure piss to me. I couldn't drink any more after that. It was just, ugh. So, uh, it's a bit, there's not much head on this drink. It's a bit, uh, a bit flat looking. Oh, um, ooh, it's tangy. I also noticed on the website, the official website, I guess this might, might only count for America, but it says um, available July to August, which must be when they make it. So um, I bought this in March in, a, in Amsterdam, so maybe it's not the freshest, I don't know. Well, the date's still alright on it, I think, but... I really like these kind of beers. That like, it reminds me of the um, 
them cocktails that you make, the Mexican things, a mich michelob or something, is it? Where it's like beer and you put like a salt around the rim, and when you're drinking it, the salt makes you thirsty, but the beer kind of refreshes you at the same time, so it kind of makes you, you kind of feel thirsty and refreshed whilst you're drinking it, and that's what this is like. It's like, it's kind of like really sharp and refreshing, um, almost vinegary or something, and then there's like a salty aftertaste, which makes you want to drink more. And uh, So like, you drink a bit and then you get that salty taste, so you drink more and the first bit you get is like really sharp and refreshing and then it goes salty again. So you just keep drinking it and, uh, I don't know, it's just an interesting taste, I think. <clears throat> sometimes, I think, I've only had a few go gozers in my life, but I think sometimes they smell a bit funky, but this, this one just doesn't really have much smell at all. I think sometimes the gozers smell off because they're like a bit sour, so uh, the smell of it was a bit funk, a bit of a funk. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna talk about I was gonna talk about Amsterdam but like I don't I don't I, like I had a good time. Um but it was like a stag do so it was just it was just sort of like you know, I d I don't think I feel like I got the full Amsterdam experience. You know, there wasn't like if I went there ideally I'd just like to spend a lot of time in the coffee shops and not much time drinking and uh it was my my friend who's getting married. His his mates, like it was my first time meeting them, and they're all like, a lot of them are like, they are like go. I think they go like watch rugby together and stuff. You know, they they're like the rugby lads, and the the fucking hell they can drink. I couldn't keep up with them all. No way. I I know I used to be a bit of a drinker, but these days I I can't. And they, you know, it was all like lads, lads, lads drinking, and oh fuck's sake, I couldn't, I couldn't keep up. I, I was uh, making excuses to sneak off for uh, smokes in the coffee shops. Uh, and it's interesting being in a country where uh, weed is legal, and it's also like there's there's loads of like. Uh, I want to say that like drinking culture, like everyone going out drinking, is the same as it is in England. But because there's also weed involved, it seems a lot, a lot less like there's a lot less trouble somehow. Like I did see a bit of trouble, like people getting thrown out of bars or trying to start fights, but it wasn't it nothing like in England, like going out for a night out in Newcastle. Because I think a lot of people are having a smoke at the same time as they're drinking. It's kind of calm. It calms you down as well. It seemed a, it seemed a lot more peaceful somehow. I don't know. Even though everyone was getting hammered. Yeah, but yeah, it was a good, it was a good, good weekend. Ah, ah, oh, that was tangy that one. Oh, got right in my nose. Maybe a bit too tangy, like, like licking a a, a square battery. Yeah. Another thing about Amsterdam was the weed was so strong it started giving me a headache after a while. I've never really been able to like, you know how people say like, oh there's, there's sativas and indicas. I've never really had like, you know, the opportunity to, to try both types and sort of get a, a feel for what each one's like. I've always just got, got weed, you know what I mean? I haven't really known what I'm getting. But um, so when I was in Amsterdam, I was like, oh, I'll go for sativas because they're supposed to be keep you awake. But it kind of like, it's such a head high. It's like, after a while, it was so strong. It was like, giving me like a, a real weird pain across here. It's just really strange. So, uh, I should have got indicas and mixed, made a, you know, mixed it up in a spliff or something. But, I don't know. Another weird thing over there was that um, in a lot of the bars you can smoke. Like I went, I remember asking one of the bar staff like, "What's what's the rule for smoking?" Because it said like drink and smoke. You can smoke spliffs anywhere in the in the pub. Like if it's a smoke and drink pub, you. But if you bring out a cigarette, they have go mad. I've seen people like 
you know, someone's rolling a spliff, but then they bring out a cigarette to put into it. Whoa, what are you doing? Get the fuck out! <laughs> you know, get to put that away now. They go crazy if you if you if you pull out a cigarette. Absolutely mad. Smoking a big fat joint. Completely fine. It's really, really, it was a really bizarre experience for me. It's complete topsy turvy world. Quite, quite cool. So yeah, I'd like to go back there again and experience it properly. And you know, not be on a stag do because. Uh, you don't get the you don't get the full experience, do you? When when that kind of thing go, is going on. Like I bet there was some bars that served some good beers there, but I just never got to see any of them. You know. Ah. Oh. So other than that, not much has been going on. I've had like no computer for like weeks now and uh, it's been driving me mad like I'm just used to being on computer constantly like if I'm not playing on the Nintendo um, usually I'm on the computer either watching videos or making videos and without like a computer to do anything with I've been really like feeling a bit stressed um, Oh god, I actually started doing a painting, nearly finished, it's on the table there. Um, I think maybe I just need to be doing something even if, like, because I'm, I'm usually making a video, so I'm always working on something, but without a computer I just started doing other things and, uh, yeah, started doing painting, pretty, pretty good, pretty enjoyable painting. I might start doing more of that. But um, yeah, other than that, I've just kind of like been a bit in a bit in a limbo state without any computer. It just felt a bit weird. Ah, uh, oh, it's getting a bit tangy this now. Like it, like it's getting more tangy, and you know what the the flavour reminds me of, which is gonna sound bad, but you know um. Like bile, <laughs> like when you're sick, but it's just bile and it tastes really like sour in your throat. That's what the flavors reminded me of. It's kind of like a sweet sour taste, and uh, it's it's kind of getting a bit stronger towards the bottom in this little bit of swill. So yeah, disappointing. It was quite it was quite good up to that point, and now I'm now I'm thinking I'm sick. It's still a good beer though. I'm not. Um, I'm not saying that. It's just it. It conjured up that image in my mind. Now, now it's what I'm thinking of. Hmm. All right. So uh, yeah, Anderson Valley Holy Goza Ale. Your perplexing name and refusal to explain what's going on has annoyed me. But um, you got a good beer and a good good label going on as well. Um. So there you go. And it was nice to find a good beer in Amsterdam, finally. Oh, oh man. Oh, that. Some mouthfuls are alright, and then some of them you get that real bile-like bile taste. <laughs> mm. I don't know what, I don't know why. Strange. Anyway, uh, yeah, cheers everyone. Um, hopefully I'll get back to making videos more regularly. I've, I've been making some like, um, I've been, another thing I've been doing because I haven't had a computer, it just I've just had my cameras. Um, I've started trying to record the birds in my garden a bit more like I used to do in the past. And, uh, mm -hmm. There's a there's a blackbird with like a deformed beak. He must have had a birth defect or something. His beak like comes out and then bends sideways. It's fucking weird looking. I've been uh, trying to get shots of this blackbird and all the other birds coming into the garden. So I might, I might put up some more videos of that nature. Maybe I don't think anyone who watches these videos will be interested in wildlife videos as well. But uh, I just, I don't know. Some something to something to put on the channel, isn't it? Anyway, cheers, everyone. I'll finish off this. Hopefully, this last mouthful doesn't taste like sick. Yeah, I get 
I think that's the the goals that need you, and it? it tastes a bit sour. I think it's just it just made me start made me think of sick and put me off a bit. It's not actually a um, a negative like it's not really a thing about the way the the quality of the beer itself because it's actually a pretty good beer. It's just so now suddenly conjured up that image in my head and I can't get rid of it now. Anyway, on that note, uh, I'll end the video here. I've got much else to say, so. Thanks for watching and see you next time.